Before we begin, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, ZenThreadShop.com. This amazing website not only has great apparel, bath products, jewelry, and more, but they also donate a portion of their net proceeds to Beyond Giving, a 501c3 organization that currently provides funding to create and staff a nonprofit training center at which the underserved will acquire the entrepreneurial skills uh, they need to become self-sufficient. By entering the code ZTSROOM6 at checkout, you'll not only be helping the community, but saving 20% off your order too. It's a win-win all around. Thanks Zen Thread Shop for being a sponsor and thank you for watching. Now onto the show. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh and today's video is the fifth in a series of Now What? episodes covering questions every beginning musician faces in their music career. If you haven't seen the other four videos, make sure you check them out when this video is over. As the title says, this one's about your first interview. What will you say? Who's going to do most of the talking for the band? What should you wear? All these questions and more will be answered, so chill out in the green room and wait to be called. Roll the intro clip! If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. So let's recap. So far, you've decided to start a band, figured out how to make a demo, managed to land that first gig, and even upgraded your gear. Suddenly, your band has an interview. Here's what you need to know. This is not a stressful situation. Look at it as an opportunity to grow your brand and show people who you are off stage. As a musician interviewer myself, I can guarantee you the interviewer and their staff want you to have fun and be relaxed. So they'll usually do their best to put you at ease. What do you know about the interviewer and the place their interviews get posted or aired? Have you seen any other interviews by them? Have they specified what the interview will cover? The more you know, the better prepared you'll be. This will be a great time to promote. If you have a show coming up, tell them about it. If not, talk about what you're currently working on and don't be shy. If you have any merch, bring it along. Remember that the interview helps both parties involved. So take advantage of this different type of stage. Use previous interviews to figure out the framework for your interview. Most interviews follow a certain pattern, so plan your answers accordingly. Know your band's bio info and make sure everyone else is ready to talk about themselves. If one of your group's a chatty Kathy, make sure the interviewer knows that so they can tailor their interview. Viewers and listeners don't want to hear only one of you talk forever, and giving good interviews can sometimes mean a little coaching of your band members for the future. Other than that, just try to have fun. Be humble and grateful that a media outlet is interested enough to dedicate their time to helping your band. Trust me. You'll be glad you did, and we'll probably be doing a lot more in the future as your band's image grows. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and it was useful information. The next video in this series will be covering that painful and sometimes inevitable moment when your band breaks up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do by clicking the bell. Sorry, make sure you do by clicking and click the bell so you'll be notified when new videos get posted. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, click here please consider clicking one of the links in my description to support the channel. Uh, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.